Tonight, Officer Garrett Rolfe, who fired the deadly shot, is off the force, and Officer Devin Brosnan is on desk duty. Tonight, officers on edge and exhausted. The Atlanta Police Department telling us that eight officers have resigned since June 1st, refuting reports of 19 officers that had quit. That's right. The resignations come as police struggle to keep protesters fight for justice peaceful. Haley Mason is live outside Atlanta Police Department headquarters with the very latest. Haley. Alicia, we are looking into these conflicting reports coming into our newsroom, a conflict between the messaging sent from the Atlanta Police Foundation and the Atlanta Police Department tonight. At the heart of the matter is low morale. Atlanta's mayor, Keisha Lance Bottom, said today in City Hall that Atlanta police morale is very low. I talked to the leader of the police union. He says the morale is terrible. We want to tell you that we know we've been covering for weeks protests of unrest and tension following police shootings from Ahmaud Arbery's death um, from a former officer to George Floyd's shooting death. I mean, George Floyd's death by being knelt on by an officer now to Ray Shard Brooks here in Atlanta. We want to say that we know officers have worked many long hours since these protests began about this unrest and the Atlanta Police Foundation told us that officers have worked long hours seven days a week and that 19 police officers had resigned just in the last several days. Well, tonight the Atlanta Police Department is saying that is not true. They are asking that the Atlanta Atlanta Police Foundation retract that statement because it wasn't verified by APD. They say they've only had eight officers to resign since June 1st and that their personnel data indicates that they have had anywhere from two to six officers resign per month in 2020. A stark contrast to the reported 19 alleged officers to allegedly have resigned. We're looking into where that conflict came about. I did reach out to a spokesperson for the Atlanta the police foundation asking if they plan to retract or clarify their message. We'll have updates from them at 11 o'clock and I'll also let you hear from the leader of the Atlanta Police Union coming up on CBS 46 tonight at 11 reporting live outside of Atlanta City Hall. Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.